Hello and welcome to Sniffing the Sheets. I'm Bex and welcome back if you have been here before. I think this is my fifth video and when I've looked back I look incredibly serious um, and somewhat miserable in them. I'm going to attempt to smell so if I keep giving it a bit of a um, that's why. Now in the city in which I live we are lucky enough to have these little free libraries dotted all around at the roadside and you can drop off or pick up or both a book. Being an avid reader um, I do find myself buying a lot of books and as you will all know it can be very expensive and it can also feel quite wasteful if you perhaps don't actually get around to reading some of them so I thought it would be a good idea for me to get rid of a few books that I've already read or that I know I'm not likely to get to and pick up some new ones that perhaps I will read. I thought it would be fun to take you with me um, while I do the rounds. I leave this, which is um, Princess story of inside the Saudi Arabia's royal family, because I think I took it from one of these um, little free libraries ones before and I've still not read it, so it's obviously not gonna get read. So let's see what is inside. So we'll pop this one in and I'm gonna have to take two because the book on the top is this, you are a badass which I am, that is coming with me. But I've also just seen that there is some Chimamanda uh, Ngozi Adichie in here, the thing around your neck. And I absolutely love um, Half of a Yellow Sun and Purple of Kiss, so that's coming, I can't leave that. Next drop off is We Were Liars. Um, I've had this ages, I've not read it. I think I was drawn in by the swimming theme as I swim, but I'm gonna donate and see what's in here. Never heard of it. It's the Outrun, but it's about a 30 year old and she spends the morning swimming. Um, not 30, I'm nearly 32, but I do swim when I can be bothered. So I'll take it, I'll give it a whirl. It's won a prize as well. Well, it's very slim pickings here, but how cute is that? First up, I was lucky enough to find a copy of The Thing Around Your Neck by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. And um, I've read um, Purple Hibiscus and Half Yellow Sun and absolutely loved both of them. So anything by this author, I am definitely going to be keen to get to. Um, when I picked this up, I wasn't sure um, what it was about, but it's actually their short story collection, 12 brilliant new stories of motherhood and mistresses, love and dislocation, violence and faith, the moments of everyday epiphany that illuminate the beauty and desperation of ordinary lives. Short stories are really handy if perhaps I'm not really in the frame of mind to fully immerse myself in anything of any length. Um, and also, for example, when I'm traveling, I find them really good because you can just sort of pick it up, read one, put it down. Next, from the same little library, I picked up this, You Are a Badass. And to be quite honest, I only picked it up because of that title. Um, I felt like it was speaking to me. Um, but I've since had a look through and it's like a self-help book, really. It says, identify and change the self-sabotaging beliefs and behaviors that stop you from getting what you want, create a life you totally love, and make some damn money already. I don't know, in all honesty, if this is a book that I will read from start to finish. It's the kind of thing where you pick it up, you look at the contents, and you perhaps get to a bit that um, sounds of interest and relevance to yourself. It's got lots of little quotes all the way through, and I absolutely love a quote, so if nothing else, I'll just flick through and read the quotes, which is a really lazy thing to say. Bits that I have pinpointed to read myself are The Drama of Overwhelm, um, Meditation 101, and also there's a bit called Doing versus Spewing. It's perhaps one that is useful to keep on the shelf for if I ever do need it. Next up, I picked up The Outrun by Amy Liptrot. At the age of 30, Amy finds herself washed up back home on Orkney, standing on a stable on the island she tries to come to terms with the addiction that has swallowed the last decade of her life. As she spends her morning swimming in the brazenly cold sea, her days tracking Orkney's wildlife and her nights searching the sky for the merry dancers, Amy discovers how the wild can restore life and renew hope. So this is obviously Amy's memoir which I didn't quite realise when I picked it up but that makes it even more intriguing to me because I absolutely love memoirs. Um, and she's obviously struggled with an addiction. Um, I'm not too sure what the addiction is as of yet. Now, the next two books, I was sat on a Sunday morning in the cafe eating my sausage sandwich and I saw a lady outside the window unpacking like loads of books from her backpack and putting them in the little library and I got very excited and um, 
ate my sandwich even quicker so that I could go and see what there was. So I chose the next two out of there. The first one being The Killer Inside Me by Jim Thompson. The review on the front says, probably the most chilling and believable first person story of a criminally warped mind I've ever encountered. And finally, um, I spotted this one eagle-eyed from the window of the cafe as she put it in the box. It's why I'm no longer talking to white people about race. This came out a few years ago, it was a bestseller. This is about race relations in Britain and it kind of looks at the history of it, white privilege. I think there's also a section on feminism, um, race and class. On the back it says, a wake up call to a nation in denial, eye opening, honest, opinionated and pretty kick-ass. Definitely a topic I can be more educated on um, and I can always learn more about. So. I think that's really important to give a read. Also, I think I need a little round of applause for the fact that I've set up my camera, the tripod, and the microphone successfully, all on my own, for the first time. Um, let's see how many of these I get round to. I think I'm gonna to have to have a rule where I kind of keep books for so long, and if I haven't read them, they have to go, unless they're being kept for a specific reason. Like, I do like to keep um, my favorite books that I've read, and, ones, some that have been gifts, ones that I've got sentimental attachment to. I hope you enjoyed this little race around town with me and um, if you did please hit like and subscribe. It would be great to hear what you guys are reading so um, let me know in the comments below and until next time, see you later!